the White House on Friday rejected a Democratic congressional request to interview a former White House lawyer about hundreds of thousands of dollars in hush money payments made by President Trump's former personal attorney Michael Cohen. White House counsel Pat Cipollone told House Oversight and Reform Committee Chairman Elijah Cummings, D. Maryland. In a letter obtained by The Hill, that the White House has been cooperative and responsive to the panel's requests for documents. But Cipollone said that, because the oversight panel wants to interview Trump's former deputy assistant and deputy counsel Stefan Pacentino about things he discussed or advised during his White House tenure, the request needs to be sent to Cipollone's office, not directly to Pacentino. Pacentino left the White House last summer and is now working for the Trump Organization handling requests from House Democrats like Cummings who have launched multiple investigations into Trump, his family members and allies, and his business dealings. In response to your request, given long-standing law and practice, we are not inclined to make the former deputy counsel to the president available for a transcribed interview inquiring into his conversations on advice he provided while serving as deputy counsel to the president, Cipollone wrote to Cummings. The oversight chairman's request is separate from the sprawling investigation into Trump's campaign, administration and business enterprise that House Judiciary Committee Chairman Gerald Nadler, D.N. Why, launched earlier this week. But Pacentino, the White House's former top ethics lawyer, is one of 81 individuals and entities that Nadler is focusing on in that obstruction of justice and public corruption probe. Cummings had sent a letter to Pacentino on February 27, the day of Cohen's explosive public testimony before Congress, requesting he appear for a transcribed interview later this month, on March 18, about the payments made to women who alleged before the 2016 election that they had affairs with Trump. The oversight chairman has previously raised concerns that Pacentino and Sherry Dillon, a private lawyer for Trump, may have provided false information to government ethics officials about the payments. Cummings has also requested a transcribed interview from Dillon about the payments. Cummings wrote in a February 15 letter to Cipollone that the committee had obtained internal notes from Office of Government Ethics, OJ, officials that described changing explanations from Trump's legal team about the payments. It now appears that President Trump's other attorneys at the White House and in private practice may have provided false information about these payments to federal officials, Cummings wrote. This raises significant questions about why some of the president's closest advisors made these false claims and the extent to which they too were acting at the direction of or in coordination with the president. In the letter Friday, Cipollone accused Cummings of making unfair accusations maligning the reputations of individual attorneys and mounting an unnecessarily antagonistic inquiry. Such unfair assertions are the antithesis of the procedure that you have insisted the committee should follow, he wrote. Cummings' office did not immediately respond to a request for comment Friday night. The oversight chairman could choose to subpoena Pacentino to compel his testimony. Dot Cohen, who last year pleaded guilty to campaign finance violations linked to the payments as well as other charges, is due to report to prison in May to serve a three-year sentence for his crimes. The former lawyer has implicated Trump in the hush money scheme, detailing the president's involvement in high-profile testimony before the Oversight and Reform Committee last week. The president, however, has offered shifting explanations about his knowledge of the payments but denied wrongdoing. It was not a campaign contribution and there were no violations of the campaign finance laws by me. Fake news. Trump tweeted on Thursday.